Hi everybody, in this video we're going to learn how to import curve extras into 3.module.js so we can make a whole bunch of different fancy curves. So let's google 3.js github Mr. Doob and here we go, click on that. Now we just have to find the curve extras.js file. It is in the examples folder. Now there's two folders here, js and jsm. jsm is if you're using a, the module and since we have 3.module.js we're going to use the JSM folder and then we're going to go into the curves folder and curve extras.js click on that and I want the raw file click on that and here's our JavaScript file so right click and save as and save it to your device and drag and drop it into your code editor directory I have a modules folder where all my modules are so I'm just gonna drag and drop it in there now we need to change the path inside curve extras I have curve extras open here you can just click it it will open and it says it's importing curve and vector 3 from 3.module.js in the build folder but 3.module.js is in my modules folder so I have to change this path now it's ready to use. We just add, have to add some code to our program to make it work. In the body section of my index.html document, I have my script tag where type is equal to module, and this is where I'm porting my modules. So I'm going to import the curveextras.js just below 3.js, because curveextras works with some stuff from 3.module.js. So 3.module.js has to be imported first, and now we're ready to make our curves. This curve is a granny knot. We're going to create a new granny knot curve instance by saying const curve, but you can call that whatever you want, is equal to new curves dot granny knot. And we create a granny knot the same way we create other objects. We have to define the geometry and the material. So for the geometry, we can create a new three tube geometry. Tube geometry accepts five arguments. The first is the path, and we're defining it as a curve. And the second argument is the number of segments. So right now it's 100. If you want more segments in your curve, you can have a much finer uh, curve or tube. The third argument is the tube radius. So right now my tube radius is 2, but if I want a wider tube, there we go. I'm going to put it back to 2. And the fourth argument is the number of radial segments. So if you want a flat, like a roller coaster kind of rail, you can just put 2 and then you'll get like a roller coaster track. If you want more rag radial segments, then you can have something like that. And with the last argument, you can close the tube or not. So right now it's true, so I have a closed tube. So the start and the end of the tube, the vertices are the same. If I set it to false, it's kind of hard to tell because the difference is very negligible. But if you put it to zero, you can see where that is easily. And then you define your material. I have it set to wireframe is true, but you can make it a solid color. Then you pass the geometry and material into the mesh to create a new object and pass that object into the scene and here is our helix curve so the only difference between this code and the granny knot code is this first line instead of creating a granny knot instance we're creating a helix curve instance by saying whatever you want to name it is equal to new curves dot helix curve the new three tube geometry accepts the same arguments the path is still the curve the number of segments in the tube if you want more segments use a higher number so it'll be a smoother curve. The radius of the curve is 2. You can change that. The number of radial segments. So if you want, again, a flat rail, you could just change it to 2. Close tube. Right now, close tube is set to false. The beginning and the end have different locations. But if you set it to true, then there is a connection between the start and the end of the helix curve. Another shape you can make is the heart curve. Again, the only thing that changes is this first line where it's new curves dot heart curve. All the other code is the same as the granny knot and helix curve. And here we have the knot curve. Again, the first line of code is the only difference. Everything else is the same. The tube geometry accepts the same arguments as all the other curves that we've seen. And here we have the tree foil knot. And here we have the sink foil knot. And here we have the figure eight polynomial knot. And here we have the Viviani curve. So these are some of the curves and tubes that you can make using curve extras.js in 3.js.